We continue our Heroes of Isla Vista special reports. Tonight, a story that needs to be told, but the timing had to be right. A police officer in Isla Vista that terrible night came very close to being a casualty. Two things saved him, a paramedic and a stunning sequence of events. News Channel 3, Sharon Roger reports. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Oh. You're very welcome. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive and well. And it's an emotional reunion that's been one year in the making. Thank you for doing what you do. I've I, been I, wanting I, to give you a hug for oh, the last year. These two were brought together because of something that shook the community May 23rd of last year. 583, two gunshot wounds, one in the back. I checked in with Lieutenant. He said, go on into the Officer Mark Vieira, a nearly 30-year Santa Barbara police veteran, was among the many called to help when chaos filled the streets of IV. Tracing back his steps that night, the first time he's been back. It brings back a flood of emotions of what happened and how things turned out and how things could have turned out. It was around 2 in the morning. Vieira gets briefed with other officers ready to go on patrol. And he says, you're at the foot patrol office? I said, yes, I am. He says, okay, look. He says, we're just down uh, at the end of the block at the park on, you know, on Embarcadero and Trigo. When suddenly he's faced with his own crisis. I took my phone from my ear, folded it closed, went to put it, uh, put it away. And for a brief instant, I thought to myself, Man, I feel, and it was an internal thought, it just, man, I feel dizzy. And before I could even complete the word dizzy, I was out. With no warning, Vieira hit the floor, suffering a massive heart attack. It was right here inside this garage of the Isla Vista Foot Patrol where Detective Mark Vieira had his heart attacked. In fact, it was right here that he collapsed. Thankfully, he had three to four sheriff's deputies who immediately performed CPR, and that's when Deb Lux jumped in. It's kind of surreal. I mean, that whole evening was, um, you know, so much more than what we normally deal with. Paramedic Deb Lux was also responding to the crisis in IV, just wrapping up a tough night, putting gear in her car when she heard people shouting for a medic. I just basically did hands-only CPR, which is what any person in the public can get trained to do and so that early intervention of, of good quality CPR and then also the um, external automatic defibrillator um, you know was critical getting that electricity to his heart right away I think helped her quick intervention not only helped but the cardiologist who operated on officer Vieira tells me everything she did made the difference between Vieira's life or his death. It was absolutely imperative that he, he get that rhythm reversed back to a normal rhythm. And those people, well trained, know how to use the machine, know where the machine is, applied the proper therapy, and this guy's alive today because of that. Not because of anything I did, because of them. While Vieira was grateful to be alive, he didn't want this story known at the time because of the six innocent students who were not as fortunate as he was. I didn't want the story to go out because I didn't want to be a distraction. And I just wanted... Sorry. I just want my brothers to be able to focus on the victims. And that was it. But now, one year later, Vieira wanted to meet and personally thank the woman who was in the right place at the right time to save his life. Thank you is a simple word, uh, but it's really the only words that I have. Without their intervention, I'm not here today. And so, we made that reunion possible. I asked Debbie Lux to be here because I thought that um, she really wanted to see you. And I figured maybe you'd want to see her as well. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't had the opportunity to uh, speak to anybody from that night. Let me bring in Debbie. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Oh. Deb Lux and all of the officers who helped save Vieira's life were honored recently. But when I asked about taking on the title of hero... It's, it's hard. It's hard to think of myself as that. I'm just glad I was there and that I could help along with all the other people that were there. Because of 
the actions of those involved. Uh, that night, I'm going to be able uh, to retire and enjoy the fruits of my labor. It's a debt I'll never be able to pay. It just can't be done. Sharon Roger, News Channel 3. And Detective Vieira had a stent put in, and his heart is now in good health. Tomorrow is his last day at the police department. Amazing story.